NASA Administrator Bill Nelson has recently discussed NASA's upcoming missions, and how they will actively seek out life on other planets. Interestingly, something that Bill then turned his attention to, was the many strange reports that have been coming in from officials. These included the US military's encounter with mysterious flying crafts, with him going on to detail that he's spoken with and had meetings with high-up officials, and they've detailed that these objects were able to make extraordinary manoeuvres, saying that these need to be investigated with an open mind. Those who have long been interested in this topic have said it's a great move forward, and that they hope that the NASA administrator will take these accounts seriously, saying that these strange sightings have been going on for decades now, and documents that have been released online in recent years have shown us that the military have known about these objects for a very long time, with some saying that these documents detail high-up military officials explaining that they have no idea what these things are. Bill Nelson said that these objects seem to be most interested in military facilities, and said that many of the sightings that they've logged are above military bases and restricted airspace. One of the odd things about these reports though is that these objects seem to have the ability to blip in and out of radar, can vanish within the blink of an eye, and can travel at tens of thousands of miles per hour. The main issue of these objects is that they're not just slightly faster than modern jets, whatever these things are seem to be vastly superior. Bill Nelson set up some meetings with several Navy aviators who have seen these crafts, and they detailed that on one occasion they were able to lock on to one of these objects, but said it was unlike anything that they'd seen before. The NASA chief is taking these reports and sightings seriously, and he said on a number of occasions that he thinks that these military officials are seeing something strange, but notes that it's now NASA's job to identify what they are. Bill Nelson, who is also a former astronaut and army veteran, said the following when asked about what these objects are, and whether they're real. Who am I to say that planet Earth is the only location of life form that is civilised, and organised like ours? End quote. Former CIA director John Brennan was also open-minded when asked about these crafts, speculating that the objects might constitute a different form of life. Continuing with the following... It's a bit presumptuous and arrogant for us to believe that there's no other form of life elsewhere in the universe. Mathematician Eric Weinstein recently made the following comments on social media, after reading recent statements about these mysterious objects. If we are being visited, it's likely not with conventional propulsion. It's insane that we're not talking about this as possible new physics. The conversation will go right back to technology, security and scepticism. I cannot understand what we're doing here. The unwillingness to turn our own physical data over to our own scientists makes this whole thing sound to me like we're choosing to fake extraterrestrial visitation. That would be the main reason to think this is all a moronic psychological operation. But why do that? It can't work in the end. Sooner or later we're either going to be asking why our government fates this moronic story, or why they withheld our data from the people we needed to see it. This is primarily not a technology issue. It's either a propaganda mind control issue, or a science issue at this point. It makes zero sense. Give science our data now. Anything but physical discussion of a physical phenomena. End quote. Interestingly, A.V. Loeb said something similar when he suggested that the mysterious space object Oumuamua may be an extraterrestrial probe. He detailed that the object in question is incredibly thin, and had an extra push that made him question its origins. He said the following during an interview, I said maybe it belongs to another civilization. I just put it in a scientific paper and didn't think anything of it. We didn't have any press release. Then it went viral and the public got extremely interested. And the thing that really surprised me is my colleagues were pushing back. They were very upset that this possibility was even mentioned. We had a seminar, a lecture about this object at Harvard. And a colleague of mine after the lecture said this object is really weird. I wish it never existed. Now to me, I was really appalled by this. How can you say something like this? 
You should be happy whatever nature gives you. You learn something new. If something doesn't look right, it actually teaches us how it's a learning experience. We learn we have to revise the way we think about reality. That's a good thing, not a bad thing. You shouldn't always be in your comfort zone, and think that the future is going to be the same as the past. So I actually see it as a blessing. End quote. A murmur showed a really strong non-gravitational acceleration. This tells the researchers that its motion indicated that gravity was not the only thing dictating its path. Many people have put forward their theories, one of which is that this object is extraterrestrial in nature. The fact that it moves like nothing researchers have seen before could indicate that it's under intelligent control. Many users have spoken out about these mysterious objects, saying that billions of dollars have been spent on these programs, and that everyday people deserve to know the truth about what's going on. Noting that we have decades worth of documents detailing strange encounters with these mysterious objects. So what do you make of these interesting discoveries? And what do you think these strange crafts are? And where do you think they're coming from? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below. And help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.